Hello, I'm your host, Enzo Canal, and with me today I have Giuseppe Mazzini. And this is today's edition of Just Another Slice of Podcast. Today I will be asking you a series of questions uh, regarding uh, Northern Italy. Uh, the first one is, uh, what inspired you to create the Roman Republic? I would say what drove me to Italy to create the Roman Republic was the events of 1848 regarding Charles of Piedmont and his revolt against the cruel Austrian rule of Italy. I found it extremely brave of these Italian nationalists to stand up to the Habsburg rule of our country. And that is really what inspired me to come here today and create the Roman Republic. Uh, good to hear, good to hear. Uh, next question. Uh, was the defeat of Charles of Piedmont disappointing to you? Yes, I believe it was disappointing to all the times, but his revolution in Milan to begin with is what drove me back to Italy. His defeat was a mere step in the process of revolution. Revolution does not happen without defeat, especially to a strong Italians. Were you ashamed of the assassination of Rossi? Is your revolution of violent nature? I would love to say my cause does not promote violence. However, as seen throughout our fellow nations, such as Hungary and Czechoslovakia, the conservative orders such as the Habsburgs and the Prussians are willing to use force of their armies on us, on us nationalists. Why should we be afraid to use violence back if us Italian nationalists are afraid to cause revolution by any means necessary? Why revolt to begin with? Would you say that you are proud of the current Roman Republic? Yes. I feel as if the greatness of classical democracy is being brought back to Europe. The conservative party has ruled too long. It is time for us Italian nationalists to take back the peninsula that is ours. Not the Austrians, not the Bourbons, not even the power-hungry Pope. It belongs to us. Thank you for answering all, my, all of uh, my questions. It was it, very good. It was my pleasure to be here today. Uh, looks like we have a call coming in for you. A call? What? Yes, it, it hasn't been invented yet, but who cares? This is just a, this is just a project. Buy a t-shirt. It's, it's fine. Tony! Tony! Pizza! <laughs> Let me see. Hello! Buona sera, buona sera. Mi chiamo Dominic de Coco. Nice to meet you, Dominic. Please, Dominic, in, in our language, for, for our viewers' sake. What? Oh. <coughs> All right, gay sweaty Mancini, what makes Italy any exception? Czech, Hungary, they're all part of the Habsburg Empire that have tried revolutions. What makes Italy any exception? They're not any different. How do you met the Italians? We are nothing like the Czechs. We are nothing like the Hungarians. Who, how dare you compare us Italian nationalists to Hungarians, to Czechs? How do you met us? We are the most powerful. When we start a revolution, we win. Thank you very much. Grazie. The, the, Italy is surrounded. The Roman Republic is surrounded by everyone. What makes it? What, you're gonna, what are you gonna do? You're surrounded. Hey, Tony, take back this pizza. It's disgusting. Guess what? Our Italian peninsula has been surrounded by other countries for ages. France. We're talking the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. How has anything changed now that we started the revolution? The only difference is now that we'll fight back. Sorry, Dominic, but you're wrong. <laughs> The conservative order has been here for 30 years now. What are you gonna do? You're, you're gonna get nowhere, bro. Nowhere. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Dominic, but you're wrong again. All right, look in your history book. The whole course of Europe has been its change. Who's to say this conservative order will last any more than one more year? All right, if you wanna talk about, if you wanna talk about a lasting change, don't talk about the conservative order. Instead, talk about the Roman Republic. Thank you very much. The Pope, the Pope is against you. He is the most religiously powerful man in Europe. How are you going to go against that? How? How? If the Pope was so powerful, then why did he leave Italy when we assassinated Rossi? Sorry, Dominic, but you're wrong. Goodbye. Oh, oh,
Šta ti to stupido? Šta ti to? What a stupid car. Stupido, stupido. Stupido. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Slice of Podcast. This is my guest. Guzzeppe Mazzini. And next week, we will be discussing the fall of the Roman Republic. Stop it all! Stop it all! Stop it all! Stop it all!